Hello everyone, how's it going? I hope you're staying safe. Well, it's been an exciting weekend actually that I had had my first COVID jab. And while at the vaccination center and seeing the seamless way my information was relayed from one section to another, I couldn't but help how a more scaled up system with even more people, more data collection points can help in providing us cutting edge, seamless healthcare services. Today, we actually speak of the Internet of Medical Things. Now, the Internet of Things, IoT as we call it, is in the news for all the right reasons. The idea is fascinating because electronic devices or things communicate by sharing data among themselves. While IoT definitely makes our lives easy, it is not a substitute for human work. While some of the popular applications of IoT are smart homes, wearables, driverless cars, etc., the healthcare sector is one that requires IoT to improve its efficiency. Now, personalized, digitized healthcare is evolving at warp speed. We gather health data, not just from wearables, but implantables and ingestibles. New tools and technology will interact with ambient devices to assess and even diagnose us. So what is the nature of this evolving ecosystem surrounding the person? Does it really have any limits? Let's explore further. So also known as the Internet of Medical Things, IOMT, the medical devices are used for diagnosis and treatment. And these devices are connected to each other by internet and cloud services. Different medical sensors and devices with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi technologies send data to the mobile device or cloud. This captured data can be sent or saved automatically to cloud for diagnostic and analytics purposes for the doctor. So the process actually results in the generation of an unlimited practically amount of data that can be used by hospitals to proactively and reactively cure their patients. IOMT devices can generate sensible data that can monitor the patient's progress real time, improve the efficiency of the doctors, prevent future health scares, reduce the intensity of prevailing health conditions, and so on. Now, to some of us who wonder who wins in the end, is it IOMT or the doctors? Well, IOMT does not intend to do away with doctors. It will empower them, in fact, to give an enhanced healthcare experience. Now, let us look at some of the benefits of the Internet of Medical Things. First up, Proactive medical care. Now, the trends identified from the data can help to proactively work against impending epidemic and prevent future diseases, typically from a patient's current statistics. On time alert is critical in event of life threatening circumstances. Medical IoT devices gather vital data and transfer that information to doctors for real time tracking while dropping notifications to people about critical parts via mobile apps and other linked devices. Reports and alerts give a firm opinion about a patient's condition irrespective of the place and time. It also helps make well-versed decisions and provide on-time treatment. Thus, IoT actually enables real-time alerting, tracking, and monitoring, which permits hands-on treatments, better accuracy, apt intervention by doctors, and improve complete patient care delivery results. Second, improved patient care. Now, patients can track their present status and check for the progress of their health using this technology. Thus, they feel assured and positive about their improvement and outcome of their results. Enhanced decision-making. Now, the doctors are equipped to make data-driven decisions to treat their patients, in turn, reducing the errors and risk involved in taking tough calls and improving success rates. With real-time monitoring of the condition in place by means of a smart medical device that is connected to a smartphone app, for example, connected devices can collect medical and other required health data and use the data connection of the smartphone uh, to, to transfer collected information to a physician. Next up, telemedicine. Now, better connectivity is actually making telemedicine blend seamlessly with IoT, enhancing its utility and helping remotely located patients better. Let us look at some of the specific use cases of IoT now. Ingestible sensors and camera ingestibles. Uh, sense, so these sensors are some of the more innovative forms of IoT applications. They are disrupting traditional ways of screening for diseases and are allowing more cost-effective methods to take shape. Pillcam. A swallowed camera capsule helps screen for colon cancer by providing real-time visual monitoring. Specialists can perform their initial screening using the data shared by the pill. Movement detection. Now, for immobile patients or those that are bound, it's essential to detect even the slightest of body movements. 
that's why smart monitors and sensors are placed on let's say the the clothing or the bed or the, or the skin of the patient to monitor their movements this can also help with tracking involuntary movements to provide better insights into proper diagnosis management Apple had actually launched its Movement Disorder API to help monitor patients with Parkinson's disease. The data captured is encrypted end-to-end, -end, giving greater privacy to patients. Then real-time patient health monitoring. Now, a critical aspect of IOMT is the tracking of patient health across parameters. This is especially helpful in the case where patients need consistent monitoring through a cost-effective mechanism. Different sensors can actually help track distinct areas of information, such as heart rates, glucose levels, respiration, etc., to provide a complete picture to the physicians. Let's look at some of the challenges now that IOMT faces. Now, one of the key challenges faced when attempting to adapt to the Internet of Medical Things is how to go about connecting the sheer amount of fragmented medical data sets in a controlled and secure manner. Equally, how to go about making that data accessible to users in a language that can be read and understood by everyone. For example, the rise in smartphone apps and wearables that can gather, analyze, and visualize lifestyle and health management apps have grown recently, uh, have grown exponentially in recent years, and have generated an exponential amount of miscellaneous health data as a result. However, hospital authorities or healthcare agencies cannot access or utilize the information provided by these devices and apps to support in the, in the improvement of uh, healthcare administration to patients. So can we really have an automation-supported healthy future? Well, Governments and healthcare providers are optimistic and hopeful that IOMT will provide more benefits than consequences. Costs will go down for taxpayers while illness rates improve across the board. Hospitals can run like well-oiled machines with timely delivery of supplies and work orders for equipment maintenance. Medical devices like wearables, blood sugar monitors, and pacemakers will eventually force healthcare to start integrating specialities and disparate patient data. Doctors will be able to adjust prescriptions without speaking to the pharmacist directly, freeing up time for providers to spend efforts and resources elsewhere. So down the line, the end goal is automation of data collection and analysis, real-time insights and actionable findings to further optimize the system. In order to reduce costs and provide the support healthcare staff need, automation will be needed for basic data collection and monitoring, etc., to free up skilled staff to focus on patient safety and patient service. With a more connected e healthcare ecosystem, one could spend less time in the doctor's waiting room and more time living healthier. With that, I think um, I covered most of the topics I wanted to discuss with you today. I hope you had uh, you enjoyed this video, and please feel free to uh, put in your comments, like, and subscribe uh, this channel as well. And for any topics that you would like me to cover in the next sessions, please feel free to let me know. I'm looking forward to your thoughts uh, and comments. Have a nice day, week ahead, and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye for now.